hello everyone welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss how we can create vertical bar chart using terms aggregation first you need to start the elastic search and kivana which i already did and this is the kivana interface so you need to open this and then you need to select the you need to click on the discover from this drop down you have to select your index so i have selected book service index here after selecting you would find your data loaded here so so this is called documents and i have 1060 documents in my index so using this data we would create vertical bar chart using the technique term aggregation first you need to go to the left navigation and you have to click on the visualize i have clicked here and from here you you need to select the which type of graph you want to create so you need to click on the plus sign which i have done then you have to scroll and you need to click on the vertical bar so you need to select which index you want to use for the creation of the chart so i am using book service after clicking on book service you will see this when we create the bar chart you would have the x axis and y axis on the x axis the field name is displayed and on the y axis the count of the documents are displayed count first we need to understand few things before we jump on the chart creation what is the terms aggregation in terms aggregation we use particular term or field present in the document to generate our or to create our bar chart you will also come across the term bucket so what is the bucket so bucket is the collection of the documents bucket is nothing but a collection of the documents so the holder of the documents in terms aggregation multiple buckets are created as per the unique value of the field selected for the aggregation let's take an example suppose you have two document these are the documents present in the elastic search and document having one field called category one is having category a second having category b and third having category a so these are the index documents present in the elastic search so we have a three documents now when we create our bar chart using the terms aggregation we will select category as a term to generate our bar chart or as per a requirement what is your requirement you can choose that field from the document we are selecting the category term for the aggregation to generate our bar chart first let's see the unique value of the terms so so there are two unique value present a and v first and third having the same category a and b having the different category b so these are the two unique value a and b so how many buckets would be generated dynamically two buckets one and two first bucket would have the this document and and this document first document and third document suppose the id of this document is one this two and three so first bucket would have first and three second bucket would have two so these are the two buckets same logic is applied on the thousands and millions of document we have a five unique category then the five bucket would be created and those having the same category will put in the, in the same bucket this is the bucket con concept in the elastic search so how many documents to count would be two and this is having count one one document present in the bucket two two documents are present in the bucket one in the term aggregation on the x-axis we choose the name of the field 
and on the y axis the count present in that particular bucket we have choose the field category right cat and here the count c so what would be the bar chart first bucket how many documents two document so here suppose one here suppose two and how many this so this is the a name of the field is name of the category is a and here only one so this is b so this is how the bar chart would look like your bar chart for this particular example now same concept we would apply on the kivana now let's open the ui of the kivana this is the by axis and here we need to select the count present in the each bucket so we don't have to change the second for this particular demo we don't have to change this field. we have other option as well but for this particular demo we would be using the count as a matrix count as a matrix means number of documents present in the each bucket now we need to click on the x axis so for x axis as i mentioned we are using the terms aggregation for this particular session to generate the bar here we need to click on the terms and in the terms which terms you want to select let me open this this is our document so first you can visit your document so this is your document okay so here we need to choose the field from the document which field you want to use for the bar chart generation i want to use the api name dot keyword as a field so how you can select you can open your document you can see it and you can choose i am using the api name field to generate the bar chart because i want to know number of request for each api so i have selected api name dot keyword this particular field should have type keyword numeric ip boolean and order by the count so i want to order these charts as per the count of the document number of documents present in the bucket order is the descending means first bucket would be having highest and last would be having lowest you can also use the ascending what is the size so how many buckets you want to display here suppose you have a five buckets means if data is giving you more than five buckets so only top five would be present here you can select the 100 buckets here also you can give here the level the name to the x axis basically i want to write name api name okay and add sub bucket that we would see in the that is a bit complex we would see in the next session you can also give the name to this i am giving api name count now we have configured the bar chart let's run it so you need to click on the apply change here you can see so this is our vertical bar chart you can see the name of the api here so which api it is having simple book search so it is having 330 document present in the elastic search or kivana means 330 documents means 330 search was there for the this api for the test api we have a 98 so how many four so there are only four buckets actually present for this api name aggregation even though we have selected the hundreds because we having a limited data only that's why the number of buckets are less if you are writing here three the fourth bucket would not be visible here you can see name if you are writing here two only two bucket would be visible here you can see now if you noticed total documents present in our index book index are 1060 all documents do not have the do not have the api name field let me explain here suppose you have four document 1 2 3 4 and 5 document id is 1 2 3 4 and 5 category name present in this a here b here c here a 
एंड देर इज नो कैटेगरी फील्ड प्रेजेंट इन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट आई डी फाइव देर इज नो कैटेगरी फील्ड प्रेजेंट सो वेन यू वुड क्रिएट अ बार चार्ट सो नॉर्मली टू से वन दिस इज हैविंग द टू डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज हैविंग द टू डॉक्यूमेंट बी हैविंग द वन डॉक्यूमेंट एंड सी ऑल्सो हैविंग द वन डॉक्यूमेंट वन वन ए बी एंड सी एंड हियर वट वट अबाउट द फिफ्थ डॉक्यूमेंट सपोज यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शो इन दिस चार्ट this document also then you can also do that how you can select the option show missing values you can see i have select, selected the show missing values and i am giving this missing value label missing name of the api so you can see this is coming as a missing and it is also showing the all the documents which don't have this particular api field api name field so how you can also display the documents are having particular field missing one more option you can see here is group other values in a separate bucket let me explain this on the board suppose this is your bar chart and these are your buckets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total seven buckets total buckets are seven there is a option you can see is the size so what is the kivana will show these number of buckets in the bar chart so suppose you have selected the size of 5 so the kivana will show how many buckets it will show the four five buckets 1 2 3 4 5 buckets in the bar chart this bar chart so what about two buckets 7 minus 2 so two buckets would be hidden or would be filtered out last two buckets so this is the normal behavior now suppose you have selected this option group other values so what will happen kivana would create one extra bucket called other and it would put these two buckets into this bucket so suppose it has two document it has four document so this bucket would be having six documents and the final bar bar chart would be like this these five these five buckets and this extra bucket and this extra bucket other and it is having six document so total bucket would be visible in the bar chart are 6 5 plus 1 even if the size you have mentioned is 5 but kivana would show the six bucket if you have selected this group other value separate bucket option so this is the 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 functionality of this particular tick mark suppose you have a 100 buckets total buckets and the size you have mentioned 90 so 100 minus 90 10 10 would be put into this extra bucket and total buckets kivana would so 90 plus 1 1 is the extra bucket if you have selected this group other values in a separate bucket option so this is the functionality of this particular we have selected this and we have selected 10 so the total buckets are less than this size so there would be no effect suppose we are selecting 3 total bucket would be 4 even if we have selected 3 yeah you can see and this is the other bucket you can see so kivana has put those two buckets into this 
other bucket or extra bucket and it has displayed in this particular bar chart so this is the logic of this group other values in the separate bucket so now it should be clear what is the use of group other values one more thing i want to mention is so whatever you are seeing here in the back end kivana is sending the request to the elastic search and elastic search is giving the result and kivana is displaying here so how we can inspect that you need to you can click on this inspect and you can see these values here the bucket and the corresponding value in this down arrow you can see request so you can see what is the request kivana is sending to the elastic search you can see this is the aggregation request and what is the response kivana is getting from the elastic search you can see number of buckets three buckets so this is how you can check the request and the response of the kivana this this all these request response or the queries we will discuss in a separate session this is how you can create the bar chart using the terms aggregation you can also save this bar chart you need to click on the save and you need to give the name of test to click on the confirm save now it is saved whenever you come back on this kivana you will able to see that chart that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video